Have you ever had a great idea and thought, ah, I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm too whatever? to make this happen. Well, then as Kumasi, Erin introduces us to one 12 year old who's showing her classmates and really the whole country that you're never to anything to make a difference. Yeah. Well, how do you think that would have been done in Unity? It's time for these middle school computer science students to get to work. So we will start on the assignment. Anjali? Isn't terrain like a ground or like a platform? And Gatanjali Rao has to finish the assignment like everybody else. <laughs> even though she's America's top young scientist. And then you go to New York for next week and then like participate in media events and then you get back to school and then homework, 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 homework. I'm like, ah. Gitanjali created a device that detects lead in water, inspired by the crisis in Flint. Putting myself in their shoes and feeling like I could be drinking lead and water each and every single day um, kind of scares me. Once you hear a snapping noise, you know that it's a tap. She showed us how it works. You're going to dip the disposable cartridge in the water you want to test. And then after that, it runs through this whole circuitry in order to um, measure the amount of resistance in the carbon nanotube sensor. So that's what detects the lead in water. From there, the results go straight to an app Gitanjali developed, telling you if your water is safe, slightly contaminated, or critical. This is an Arduino processor, and this is a Bluetooth extension. It didn't quite look this way when she started. She came to me with some wires. She had just wires in her hand, and she was like, this is my project. Gitanjali's teacher, Simi Basu, helped her research and refine the idea. And being a girl student, I pushed her really hard. And entered the America's Top Young Scientist competition. Imagine living day in and day out, drinking contaminated water with dangerous substances like lead. And after failing to make the finals previously, this time, the ultimate success. Now that I had my basic components, I was ready to evaluate my hypothesis. Gitanjali hopes Tethys will be commercially available this year and others will be inspired to create. Definitely go for your dreams. Like if you think of an idea, try to make it a reality. No matter their age. I believe that the purpose of science is to make a difference. For the now, I'm Kamasi Aaron. 12 years old. Holy cow. Good for her. Solving the world's problems. Amazing. Uh,